post a video in a hot minute my apologies I've been up and down round and round and life has been my thing um, but for the most part I am grateful I am thankful for life I'm thankful for having the strength to um even <laughs> do things I do on a daily basis and I just want to say to you guys thank you um to my new subscribers but welcome to the Lash Baby family to the OGs thank you for sticking around sticking around with me um yeah this is my official first video of the new year and I really wanted it to be like a sit down, get ready with me type of vibe. But unfortunately, <laughs> it's just a sit down with me chilling in the bathroom as you can see. Um, hopefully, hopefully next month, hopefully next month, I will be, you know, back up to my kind of regular schedule. If you want to say that, um, it's been a busy couple of months, like I've been doing quite a lot, business have been picking up, praise God, so I've been doing a lot of things behind the scenes that is not going to be aired or, you know, be a part of anything right now, so it's not something that I can literally post, um, but I've been working and my February looks very bountiful. Climate house, yes, yeah, I'm going to do some really big things. Um, and hopefully I'll take you guys on the journey with me. And that's, you know, the rendezvous that I'm going to be on. But I'm doing well. Um, I'm getting a lot of things together for Lash Midweek. Um, I'm loving, loving these natural twists. I decided to go back to basic. And when I say back to basic, meaning this is the style that I rocked when I was going to school. Natural twists, body, <laughs> body on a budget. Okay, well, they're not as cheap as they used to be back in the days, but it's still a good piece of coin and I love it, love it, love it. You know I like a natural look on me when I leave natural textured hair, stuff like that. I really, really enjoy that and I'm trying to grip up my edges as you can see. Yeah, and that's why I haven't been winging my hair for a while because I really want to be focusing on my hair this year and taking care of my hair because I do have really nice hair. It's just I just don't take care of it the way that I should. So I'm trying to force myself this year to, you know, not forsake my hair and give it the love and the attention that it deserves and need. But other than that, I'm doing well. Like, I, I can honestly say for the last couple of weeks, even can I say like a couple of months, like the last two to three months have been drama free. Um, fun times, I've been going out quite a lot, um, catching up with old friends, here in Toronto, old clients, stuff like that, like, it's been an eventful time, and one of the messages that I want to leave with you guys this year is to live life, you know, fuck bills, fuck all of that type of stuff. No, when I say fuck bills, that, that, that doesn't mean that not to pay your bills or anything like that, but give yourself grace, give yourself time to enjoy the simple things in life. If you like sushi, go out at least once a month and get yourself some sushi, dress up in some nice clothes, treat yourself, as this comes in, treat yourself, love on yourself, appreciate yourself, and just do you. And I think that's what I've been doing for the past couple of months, just 
trying to find back my joy and trying to find back the things that motivates me. Doing makeup motivates me. Teaching people how to do makeup motivates me. Embracing people who have seen my struggle, who have seen me grow up, seen me mature into this beautiful goddess. Like, embrace these simple things. Embrace the things that make you you. And I don't care what nobody's saying. Surround yourself with people that can push you to the next level. Surround yourself with people who embrace you, who encourage you to do the best that you can possibly be. And don't be afraid to use your talent. I will tell anybody I'm very, 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 very talented. Do I use all of my abilities? Not necessarily. But this year, last year and this year has taught me to don't be afraid. Like, step out on the limb, do what you need to do. It's either you're going to fail, either you're going to succeed, or you're going to learn valuable lessons to not make that mistake ever again. So take nothing for granted, nothing at all. Live your life, love yourself, be true to yourself, love on yourself, find your inner peace, and I can assure you things will start working for you. If you don't believe in God, you believe in the universe, talk to, talk to it. <laughs> talk to him, talk to it, talk to God. Like, get some, get some grounding in your life, you know? And I really needed to do that, and I'm so happy and humble that I have people in my corner that love me and care for me and appreciate me for the hard work that I've done in their life, well, however small or however big. And I really got to see that when I come back to Toronto, the love and the support, just being there for me in my darkest times, because trust me, there were some dark times, but I overcome it and I'm still doing the best that I can. And if it wasn't for these group of people who have been there to uplift me, like I don't know honestly where I would have been for today. But um, other than that, I'm just going to give God thanks. I'm going to give God the praise because without him, nothing is possible. And yeah, I'm just living life, loving me embracing me and falling in love with me and this joy that I feel now loving me I have never felt this before in my whole entire 32 years of living on this earth like the love that I have for myself it just gives me joy to the point that I feel fulfilled to the point that I feel that I don't need somebody to make me whole you know, I'm just so much in love with myself and that can be egotistic, that can be, oh my god, I believe I'm better than everybody else, but, huh, friend, if you don't believe in yourself, then who will, okay? And the shit.com, that's the A. Get it or don't get it. And there's a lot of things that I guess I'll have so many times on and talk to you guys about things that happen in their life, relationships, and how those things can really affect, you know, your mental, your physical, and all that other stuff. Like, I've been through some stuff, and I can definitely talk about some stuff, and I think I'm going to use my YouTube platform to basically tap in to some topics and some things that um, some people are afraid to talk about, but once I've lived and learned and moved on, at some point I can definitely talk about it. Um, I'm not going to put out my business on social media because I'm not that type of person. But there's one or two things that I don't mind sharing with you guys. And I will do that momentarily. But I just want to check in with you guys, making sure that you guys are doing well. And just let you know that there's more tutorials going to come through. And I'm still going to continue working on on the um, 
on the How to Become an MUA series. I think I'm gonna have like three more installments and just leave it be. And then I'm also gonna, cause I do my hair 99.9% of the time. So I also want to like start doing hair content and stuff like that. Really guys on the journey with this natural hair um, vibe that I'm going on and stuff like that. So there's a lot of new things that I want to incorporate into my YouTube and stuff like that. So just bear with me. Thank you guys so much. Like, share, subscribe, hit that bell to be notified. And until that next time, remember I beat. And I beat for the gods. Bye.